where Kahneman leaves us in our understanding of how we kind of operate or how our brain kind of op operates is you get to choose between system one or system two, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And it's kind of a crappy choice, right? You either get to choose fast and wrong a lot or slow and right a lot. And both of those aren't great in a lot of situations. Yes. Right? Yes. We called this system three, and our research shows that there's another option. And that option also has trade-offs, right? This particular option is the pro of it is that it's fast and it's more right. It's mm -hmm. right more often, meaning right. you get that parallelism, right? Yeah. Okay, well now we're talking, right? This is this is where we want to go because yeah. we want we want to be able to be in a meeting or be in a situation that's moving fast and fa as fast as the situation or faster. Right. And also get it right. Yes. So everybody wants this. Yes. Right? So we got to think about well, what are, what are the downsides? Yeah. Because it looks like there's no downsides, but there's one downside. Yeah. It's the same downside as this plus another one. So it's it, it requires a little bit of effort, which is the metacognition. So you got to be aware of how you think, and that's where DSRP comes in. Yes. Right? Because that gives you the algorithm for awareness of how you think. Mm -hmm. And it also requires practice. Now, this might sound kind of weird at first, but it's actually so basic and so universal that we see it everywhere. So for example, take a Navy SEAL team or a SWAT team or a basketball team or any anybody who has to get it right. Yes. Or there are devastating consequences and they have to do it fast. Yes. Right? What do they do most of their days yeah, they're practicing. They all practice. The time. That's what they do. They practice, right? Yeah. They drill. They practice repetition, right? And like you see in this in the movies with the seals, they literally reproduce the environment of the mission. Totally. And they run it a hundred times. Yeah. And time it. Yeah. And hundred. Yeah. And before they even go. And I I read a story about how what, in some cases when they don't know they might know what the outside of the building looks like but they don't know what the inside of the building looks like so they have these they build these builds mm -hmm. these practice builds where they can move the inside of the building all the walls and the hallways uh, and stuff yeah. which allows them to actually practice the adaptivity that's going to be required that's cool right you know so they're even practicing the adaptivity right right. All we got to do is practice. So the question, and this is what our research really gets into, is, well, first of all, what? What do we need to practice? Right. And, and how do we need to practice right. these mental fitness or systems thinking skills? And our research says that, first and foremost, there are six moves that are yeah. kind of like moves that you would do in the gym, except they're mental moves. Yeah. That if you practice these, you're going to get a huge benefit. And that's yeah. actually... I didn't know we were know, going to talk about either. this, but that's what the book is about yeah. is those six moves. Yeah. And the how of practice is just kind of techniques for how, how, what are some of the ways that you can burn the neurons? This is all about burning the neurons. You're burning the neurons so that, and this is, this describe the burning the neurons describes why it's fast. Say more. So imagine that you have a jungle. Your brain is like a jungle. And imagine that you have, you've built no trails. Well, every time that you have to go into this jungle, you've got to go with a machete. Yeah. And you're and it's going to be slow going cuz you're hacking your way through. Cuz you're hacking your way through, right? Mm -hmm. Well, let's say after after doing this, you you go, "Well, let's instead of building, you know, instead of always hacking, let's build a trail through the jungle." Mm -hmm. Well, now you've burned the neurons. You've built a trail. Well, next time you come to this jungle and you have the option of going somewhere over here in area A or somewhere over here in area B or the trail that you built, which are you going to take? The trail. The trail. You're going to take time. the trail every time. Yeah. But there lies the problem because the more you the more you take the trail, the more the trail becomes takeable. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So it reinforces that you keep taking the same paths. The more you burn the neurons the more you're going to travel on those trails. So what you want to do is create a, a, a trail system 
that allows you to get to kind of all the different places. And you want to build, burn those neurons so that you get a good coverage. And if you want to get to this spot over here, it's not far to get there, right? Right. right. And what these six moves do is they kind of they kind of help you build a, a trail system in your jungle mm -hmm. to make it so that when you're in that situation that requires speed and accuracy, you, there's a trail that right. your brain's already used to doing it. Yeah. Your brain's already used to traveling those structural algorithms in a sense. Right. So, so burning the neurons, which you do through practice and awareness, is what creates the fast. And if you burn the right neurons, which is these two things, then that's what creates the right. Okay, so say more about that. So I get this, the trails make it easier to go through. And I, I really like this idea of several trails that allows adaptivity to points that are off trail. Yep. So how does that get to that's, the right That's a, a little harder to understand, but the, the gist of it is when we think about getting your mental models aligned with reality, mm -hmm. what we have to do is train our mental model building apparatus, our brain, our thinking, mm -hmm. to build structurally in the same way that reality is structured, in the same universal patterns that reality itself is structured. The more we build our thinking and our brain in ways, in those structural ways, mm -hmm. which is what DSRP and the moves spell out for us, the more we will build mental models that are have a higher probability of being in alignment with reality. 